<laughs> All right, you guys, what's up? It is me, Sheer Goblin. And I wanted to show you guys. Now, if you guys are having this problem, I would love to know. And if there is any way of fixing it without having to take this thing apart, the leg on my Indominus Rex here will not, is just won't work anymore. Like, the legs have collapsed. And now he won't, she won't even stand up. She has to be like that. Now, just to freaking stand. Now, I do have another Indominus Rex, but the other one's a lot bigger. The other one's over there. By the way, I'm watching Jurassic World from the Gaming Beaver. But this one... Move out, move out of my way, garbage. Um, I also have the uh, Amber Collection Blue and Delta. But this one, oh my god, I love this one, you guys. Look at this. Look, it's, look what's in this. Oh, oh. What's inside of the throat? Are there, are there dinosaurs? Let me know, you guys. Let me know what is inside of the mouth. That's so good. Look at that. Okay. Look at the That's nails good. that they have done right there. That is sharp. Imagine that thing grabbing you. And then here's my Brachistachosaurus. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then... Here's all my other Jurassic World shit. No, my Ceratosaurus, no! There's my Ceratosaurus. With her with a broken leg. Hang on. And there's a hole in the wall. This was my first ever dinosaur that I'd gotten from Jurassic World. Um, because, I mean, first of all, I never owned a toy of a Ceratosaurus, so it was pretty cool. Second of all, to me, the Ceratosaurus was one of my favorite dinosaurs in Jurassic Park 3 because... It's just a dinosaur they don't see very often in many dinosaur movies. So. And thankfully, <laughs> I've had this thing for almost four years. Well, I have had it for four years and it still works. So, let's see what else we have. We have my Sinoceratops. Which doesn't that work. No! My son of Ceratops is dead! It used to make noise! What the hell? Oh, it does want to work. I think there's some mechanism in there that's broken. Oh well, poor... S and this one's my brand new one, so hopefully she should work. And, and, and there, there's the proof. Now, the way you use this one is... Now, I did do a video on this one, but I had to delete it because this is my brand new phone. And there wasn't enough room to copy everything on there. And I was so pissed off that I didn't upload the freaking video because I was on a lake, on a dock, videotaping this. And now I don't have the video anymore. But look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Here is my Velociraptor Blue, which I'm going to have to put up on my uh, shelf. Um, my Amber Collection Velociraptor Blue. And man, she is gorgeous. I love her. I love Blue. Here's also a recent one that I also bought. A Monolophosaurus. Which is not electronic. It's just an action attack. Or I mean, uh, an attack. A uh, little minifigure. Sorry. Here's my Nerf gun, which I do use this thing every once in a while. Because, I mean, to me, it's one of the best Nerf guns that actually works with my mask. Oh, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you! <laughs> um, here's my blue mask. Okay, I don't know which one that was, but oh, it's terrifying. Um, this one, as you can see, it still works. It's the Velociraptor Blue Mask. 
beautiful, beautiful. One of my best purchases ever. And I still wear it every once in a while. But after I wear it for a certain pound... Um, for a certain pound, good God. After I wear it for a certain amount of time, it gets to the point where it starts to irritate the top of my head. Oh, this is the guy that made the noise. My Edmontosaurus, which... I also like the Edmontosaurus action figure. I mean, they think... I think they made it to scale with every other dinosaur. And... Plus, they made it look a lot like from Jurassic World um, Evolution. Like, it looks exactly like that. Although, I want to say it's got less brown or something. I don't know. But I love it. And plus, the fact that it also has an action feature and stuff, I, I think that's cool. So, what else? Oh, yeah. My Velociraptor blue gloves. That's nice. That's real nice. I gotta say, Mattel has gone all out and beyond. You shut the hell up. I ain't talking to you. Shut up. I'm just setting them right there for now. I'll even put my... Uh, and then, I also got this. See, the mechanism on this thing is not willing to work. But this is my Baryonyx, and as you guys can tell, not sure if you can tell, I painted his fingers. Fingernails painted. So, because I mean, I was tired of not of looking at him without seeing that his fingernails weren't painted. Now, I thought I did paint this guy's fingernail, but I must have erased them. Um, actually, no, I. I want to say that painted his toenails. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. But this is my uh, Sir Sukumimus with his. Now this guy I got on um, Amazon. And I first, whenever I first looked at this, I was like, is this a Jurassic Park toy? Because if it is, it's garbage. But then whenever I thought it was a Jurassic World, whenever I found out that was a Jurassic World, I was like, no way. That's sick. So I had to buy it, of course. Shut up! This. Now this was one of my most... I thought it was going to be one of the coolest uh, armored dinosaurs I had so far. Because I didn't really have any armored dinosaurs at the time. Besides, like, my other toy and Kylosaurus. Now, the way you... Oh, God dang it, once again. Well, well, mm, of course the noise doesn't work, but you press this button right here. Although the mechanism, to be quite honest, was absolutely garbage because it would never work. On mine, at least. Um, what else do I have? Um, I have some doodling wielding pistols. Which, hang on. Pretty cool looking. I have two pistols. I'm guessing this is what they're supposed to look like because the other one doesn't have that little piece. Although I don't think that thing is supposed to move. I honestly don't know. I don't even remember having this as a kid. Actually, I do, because I remember being pirate, and I, I think it came with a costume. It's not bad, but I don't think I ever used it as a kid. And look at that top gun. <laughs> okay, what other dinosaurs? Oh, I forgot about this guy. It's my Dilophosaurus. My Jurassic World uh, Wave 2 Dilophosaurus. Sick, you put water in them, and then he spits water. Like Venom, although, if you're going to make it turn like Venom, you ought to make it like blackish green looking. Hey.
Hang on, you guys. I gotta get this guy. Hey, what the hell? We must take a source from Jurassic World. Now, this is from the first one, and I got this guy at a bookstore. I never ha I haven't even had this guy. I had just recently gotten this guy a few, like at the beginning of the month. Like at the beginning of the year, I mean, at a bookstore. Books a million store. I thought if he's still there, I'll buy him. Because, I man, it was a good price. Plus, I kind of wanted a Stegosaurus to add my class. I don't, don't even have a Jurassic World Triceratops. Jesus. And then here is my most favorite dinosaur, which whenever <laughs> I had done that, just so that our scars would pop out, I thought it looked pretty good, but let's see if she even works. No, she doesn't work anymore. God damn it. She's my T-Rex. She's my thrash and throw T-Rex. And as you can tell, <laughs> the batteries are dead. So, damn. Damn, 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 damn. What else is in here, by the way? Oh, yeah. Here's my Velociraptor Blue. Uh, not my very first Velociraptor Blue toy that I ever had. I thought it was pretty good for what it was worth. It's, I think it was 15 or nine dollars nine to fifteen dollars or something maybe even seven dollars i thought it was pretty good you got a little bit of rubber like the tail is made out of a little bit of rubber and it just like but the hands oh my god the hands were so flimsy and i thought it was pretty good so but you guys want to know my most expensive toy yet Which was the T-Rex, the raptor head, and let's see, come here for a minute. <laughs> this guy, which I've only had for a year, and this guy, which, which was around $60. Sixty freaking dollars. Well, actually, sixty-five because of tax. So, God. But it was worth it. You were worth it, little one. You were worth it, big guy. And you, which was about sixty-five dollars too. So the these two are the most, by far, the most expensive. So is this guy for thirty dollars. But I thought for thirty dollars that was pretty worth it. Because completely articulated and stuff. Now, I did have the Indoraptor. But I threw him away because his tail broke off. And I was like, I don't want an Indoraptor whose tail has been broken off. I want to buy me a brand new one. Which, I that one was brand new. But I had it for a good year or two before it broke. Now, for this one, for some reason, the, like, the sickle claw on this one is stuck. But yet this sickle claw works just fine. And I like to have them, I like to have them like up. I towards that one a little bit. I don't know. They're, they're, they're equally match. And um, as far as sculpted model goes, I thought it was pretty good. And look at that. You can see cleverness in those eyes. Clever girl, you are. Look at that. And I think that the accurate scale is accurate to this. And the Abrachiosaur. I mean, I think they're both accurate. Now, I think these guys don't can't stand on their own. Unless you can supposedly put a little more weight on their feet. But I think that with what they did with making the feet a little bit bigger and the hands a little bit bigger, I think it looks good at all. I just wish they didn't add the webbing to the hands as you guys can clearly see there's some webbing right there. But I'm glad that they painted the claws and the toenails. Although I don't think they did that with the back. With the back. Damn it, you move out of the way. There you go. That's, that's the best feature. 
I don't think. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think they painted. So it's still pretty good. I love it. I love that. And plus the fact that it came with that, like what was in the movie, I thought it was pretty good. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will begin the Scorpius Rex, the Indoraptor again for a comparison. And I may buy this guy unknowingly to my mom. She don't want me to buy another one because she says that's a waste of money. But to me, I think it's a, it's not. But this time I'll be keeping him in the box. And I'll just put him up on the shelf. So, yeah. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Share Goblin, out.